Hey guys, and in this video I'm gonna show you a fugue meshing technique in VisVirac and five ways to achieve this with famous EDDR sequencer from Bok Audio. So this technique uh, requires use one sequence for four or more different uh, sequences inside. So what it means? You have four different speed but same notes in the sequence itself. So it's pretty easy to understand just by looking on Fugue Machine uh, videos iOS famous sequencer. So it's based on back techniques and serialism as well. So let me show you how to apply this uh, in five ways using this VREC and ADDR sequencer. Basically it needs just a polyphonic sequencer but there is no uh, such much uh, just ADDR and PDRA. I did a video before on it. So this is the first technique and this is based an original concept of uh, fugue machine. So I have a phased clock and phased source. Basically I can show you on the scope what's going on. So here we have our phase and then I set all of this phase into just one ADDR sequencer and you must choose here a select input uh, to receive uh, polyphonic channels from. Otherwise it doesn't work because by default it's set on clock input. I also select a range to one uh, plus and minus volts. So how it sounds like. So the steps knob isn't actually working as well as forward and reward just because here is totally uh, address control by phase incoming signals, polyphonic signals in this case. Then I just pass it through the offset by book audio also, just um, adjust overall uh, amounts of volts of all of four sequences here, like that. Let's undo this and then pass it through the quantizer with the also options how it would quantize it. I just said by default and then I use the polyphonic palette uh, oscillator. So here is a four actually instance in one and use some internal modulations uh, by incoming trigger, which Quantum also send each time the pitch of the each phased sequence changes. Uh, and the next here is a polycon module, and this thing can apply uh, different modes for, uh, in this case, first and second voice in the palette itself. So it plays now in uh, FM mode, I believe, and th th third and fourth in the previous uh, wave shaper. Uh, then its output passed through the filter, and then to another filter, also think that's called hold from rack windows. Fresh thing, you should definitely try it. It's like a filter mixer on steroids with low pass attitude 
just worth thing to try. And uh, here is a um, tuner, CV tuner that I received from the octave module. And this is uh, also such a setup with polycons, two polycons and sequential switch. So each time this trigger uh, from eight divided phase receives to the sends to the sequential switch it just pass through the different octave jumps and each voice has its settings set by polycon and then I convert uh, poly signal from hold in bass master uh, set this option to spread your polyphonic outputs wide and then just pass into the stereo channel and then adjust some EQ master connect to the inserts and use some beautiful sands from Blamsoft, Valley and Chronoblog as always. So this was the first technique machine in Visirac and here is the second one by the way you can get all of these patches on my patreon to just support my channel a bit so the next technique is based on um, let's mute it a bit to explain so it's just based on eight fall so it's a uh, eight LFOs that you can set your own face for each and here is a also sample and hold internal and you can see uh, values here so you can adjust it and get a pretty default results before it receives through the this offset and then ADDR so you can see such results here and overall concept is um, you can actually uh, use uh, same speed LFO but with uh, default, um, different phase so you just get some not random uh, sequence it's just follow and follow and follow. So then it also passed to the quantum and then I decide to separate our uh, polyphonic output into the three palette instance to get some separate controls and then just send monophonic outputs to the mind meld mixer it sometimes stop and it's pretty awesome and i don't understand why so i also get some extract from polyphonic and this think actually uh, guilty in uh, sometimes stop because it um, gets some adjustments by CV into the offset and scale it's pretty important what actually uh, position a DDR sequencer will receive so your sequence can expand or uh, vice versa it's pretty cool there was uh, another technique uh, on fugue machine and here is a third one third one based on a completely unsynchronized LFO uh, pretty inspired by using different clocks for fugue machine and here is a octo so it's basically eight uh, LFOs with different speed but it controls by just one big knob here you can choose 
triangle square, so sine. And now let me show you on the scope. how EDDR sequencer receives the signal from Octo. As always, here is a polyphonic select, uh, polyphonic channel select from select input and the range is still the same. Then I separate uh, by, for three uh, voices and use another octo for modulation to get some overall wipe around this composition and then I use a slope detector from a very fast output on octo to get some kind of unstable clock to clock the chronoblobs to get those blends through the signals. So it uh, audibly compensate unsynchronized nature of this patch. And I think it's pretty, sounds pretty psychedelic because it doesn't have a, a shared clock at all. That was a third technique, field machine technique in this Virag. Here is a fourth, and this one already has a, a different stop in EDDR sequencer. Here is a triggered select mode and select input uh, to, to choose a poly uh, amount of polyphonic channels. So I just use the clock random gates. Uh, again, I merge it into the one polyphonic cable. And this thing, this triggered select mode, uh, actually every time uh, the sequencer receives pulses, it uh, select it to the a bit forward, so you can. Uh, again, you can get this fugue machine by pretty different way, not phased, but by the uh, clocked random gates. So the clocked random gates has a probability controls. And actually, this is my number one module for making some generative rhythmic stuff, but this probability knob allows you to control uh, the amount of output gates, triggers or clocks, just like you control your audio mixer. And it's pretty intuitive to use and uh, as you can hear, it's it does have a, a pretty nice result. So that was fourth technique on fugue machine in this rack, and here's the last one. And this thing based on input from the clock. step on negative clock. So each time the sequencer receives a negative clock, the sequence um, starts uh, backwards. So it's kind of switching uh, this switch, but you can can do it from separate voice into the one sequencer. So I use uh, inversion module from Bok Audio. It 
control it by another clocked random gates. Uh, so you can see the uh, clock is pretty slow here is and probability is pretty low. And each time uh, the half of the instance receives a gate signal, it reverses uh, the clock that comes to ADDR. And the sequencer you hear in this bunch of th sequences uh, starts doing backward. So it's another type of fugue machine manipulation inside just one stable fixed sequence without changing nodes or voltages. So that was all my methods to do it with ADDR sequencer. You can also use, as I can say before, a PD array, but I found ADDR sequencer is pretty faster to do things because it has a range control, a select control, a clock control, just a fun, fine little beast in VCV rack. So thank you for watching guys, you can get this my stuff, VCV files on my Patreon and I hope you like this video. Uh, press thumbs, uh, subscribe and thank you for watching again and see you next time.